Guys, I am sincerely sorry for publishing a report that said that in China, Tesla was seriously downgrading production because of a lack of demand. Now, I didn't say that I agreed with that report. I just said that this was the information we were getting from China. But it turns out that all of that was just manufactured media crap. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Right now, we're seeing a huge amount of negative Tesla media coming from uh, electric car websites, uh, mainstream media, YouTubers. I think a lot of these sites, they think because of the comment section, they go and read the comments. Guys, I don't read the comments unless it's a personal video. If it's about me and my boys, my family, then I'll read the comments. But if it's not, I don't read the comments. I just don't have the time because you guys know I produce eight videos a day. But I think a lot of these people that are going through, they're reading the comments, they're seeing, um, a lot of hatred for Tesla, but I think this is probably the vocal minority. So these websites are really kind of trying to publish anything they can, which is negative about Tesla because they think because of the comment section, that's what people want to read. They want to see anything about Tesla that's, you know, it's like stabbing Goliath in the heart and he's on the ground and everyone's like, oh, he's bleeding, Goliath's bleeding, yeah, Goliath, he's bad. Let's, you know, let's see Goliath bleed. Now, I could be wrong. But that's my only personal logical way of explaining the fact that a lot of this media is just completely false. It is. A lot of it's false. So a lot of it's like, oh, look, look what's going on. Look, look, look at that. And then we find out two or three weeks later that it was just made up. Well, unfortunately, it turns out that it appears this report from China, reported on by numerous different media organizations worldwide, was possibly false because Tesla just had its fourth best month in history in China. Fourth best in history. It delivered... I believe uh, nearly 90,000 cars from its factory in Shanghai. Um, that's really not far off. It's best month in history. It's really, really close, in fact. This doesn't appear to um, gel with the narrative that Tesla has started, uh, you know, getting rid of production, um, massively downgrading uh, production lines. We see a lot of so called experts make comments, and sometimes it's easy to read them. You know, you read these comments, the person sounds authoritative, they sound like they know what they're talking about, and then you start to believe it. Well, I mean, the numbers prove, well, they show a very different story. And I think what matters the most is the actual numbers. So far this year, the best-selling car in China, the best-selling electric car in China is the Tesla Model Y. In fact, it could be the best-selling car in China, period. We don't know at this point in time, but we know that the best-selling electric car is the Tesla Model Y in China, period. Monthly sales, which include exports from China to overseas markets, were pretty amazing at 89,000. That's up from 47.5% uh, from 60,000 in February. So realistically, actually, Tesla's had a really good year so far in China this year. We don't know those exact sales numbers yet, for China, because we don't know how many of these vehicles were sold in China, how many vehicles were sold outside of China. But we do know this, we do know the actual number of vehicles sold by Tesla in China in total, not by model, but in total. Tesla have actually sold 221,000 vehicles made in China. That's actually down 3.7% from 229,000 last year. But it's still a really good number considering uh, those are the three worst months of the year in China. And uh, if you look at companies like Neo, Xpeng, their sales have, well, done nothing first three months of this year. And you put it in context like this, the, te the factory in China that Tesla has, it has, a, it has a, an output of 950,000. That's how many cars it can make per year. Now, if Tesla was um, shutting down a lot of factory output there, uh, if you think about it, they sold 90,000 cars, right? That's, that's what? 10% of 950,000, pretty close to 10% of 950,000. That would mean Tesla is actually running at full steam and running at full production. I don't know how else they could have actually sold this many vehicles if they were running well under production. Because keep in mind, we had the Chinese New Year, which is basically a, around about a 10 day holiday. That was in February. If you include that in these sales numbers, and you include the fact that, I mean, China goes to sleep for the first three months of the year when it comes to car sales, this number is actually quite good. Now, technically, February 10 to February 17 was the Chinese New Year holiday, but the truth is it goes for around about 10 days in general. It means over those 10 days, almost no cars are sold 
in China. So if you're wondering what I'm talking about here, guys, Bloomberg reported on the 22nd of March that Tesla had reduced EV production significantly at its China factory due to um, really poor demand and sales growth, competition in China is fierce. And, you know, and then we start to see these sales numbers coming out. We start to realize actually the Tesla Model Y is the best-selling electric car in China this year. We start to realize, well, 90,000 cars in a month is a, a really, really good number. We start to realize that maybe Bloomberg was just making this stuff up. Maybe they weren't but it looks like they could have been. Tesla instructed employees at its factory earlier in March, says CNN Post today, to reduce production of the Model 3 and the Model Y. Um, they wanna work five days a week instead of the usual 6.5 days. That was according to these reports in China. But if that were the case, how exactly is Tesla producing as many cars this year, almost, as, as the first three months of last year? That just doesn't add up. And I think that's just feeding into this overall, uh, let's kind of make up negative news stories about Tesla because they'll stick and people will click on them. They're dramatic. A lot of people love Tesla at the moment. A lot of people obviously um, hate Elon Musk. I don't know why people are so fixated on this stuff. I, I just don't even pay any attention to what Elon Musk says on Twitter for most of the time personally. I don't, I don't really care. I care more about Tesla's fundamentals. What's the company going to do in the future? Should you invest in it? Um, what's happening in the automotive industry? What are the true facts? What, what's the media telling us? What are the lies? What, what's the truth? And honestly, Elon Musk and what he says on Twitter it doesn't really have anything to do with any of that. But what are your thoughts, guys? Do you think the media has uh, made something up. Now, they're clearly exaggerated because if production went from 6.5 days a week to five days, Tesla could not have produced 90,000 cars in March. It just w wouldn't be physically possible. And they couldn't have hit production, almost the same production as they hit last year. It's only a 3% difference. It's almost almost the same. So realistically, um, clearly Bloomberg has exaggerated because they didn't cut production by 20%, which is what Bloomberg is saying. Maybe they did cut production to some degree. Maybe they didn't at all. Anyway, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.